Hello, dear JMFT community. This is Alba Niño. I am a marriage and family therapist and I'm also a core faculty member at Alliance International University. Um, together with Carney Kissel and Florina Polinar Claudio, we wrote a paper entitled Perceived Professional Gains of Master Level Students Following a Person of the Therapist Training Program. I want to take this opportunity today to give you a brief introduction to our paper and to invite you to uh, read our article. Um, this article presents the results of a um, qualitative study that we did with two cohorts of students who took part of a nine-month person of the therapist training program. Um, at this point you might be asking, okay, so but what is the person of the therapist training? So, the person of the therapist training, also known by its acronym POTT, P -O -T -T, is a training on the use of self in therapy that was developed by Dr. Harry Aponte. The main goal of this training is to enhance the clinical effectiveness of trainees by helping them to use all of who they are in their clinical work. Uh, by all of who they are, we are talking about their strengths, their um, experiences um, and also their vulnerabilities, their places of hurt and their issues of shame. Uh, so much so that one of the most important concepts in the person of the therapist training is the concept of signature theme. Uh, by signature theme we refer to the hurts, losses and disappointments that are at the core of our emotional struggles and our relational vulnerabilities. Um, if you want to know more about the PAD training, of course, you can refer to our article. Um, this uh, type of training has been used in different settings, but in the past 10 years, it was implemented in, a, in an academic setting. And we have been hearing very good uh, comments from students who have uh, been in this training program in relation to how this program has um, helped them in their clinical work. And that's what motivated us to take a closer look into what were the specific professional gains that the students uh, were getting out of taking part of the person of the therapist training. Uh, so some of the gains that they reported were to become more aware of their um, values of their strengths and of course becoming more aware of their limitations and their signature themes and how all these plays out in their clinical work. They also reported becoming more aware of their own emotional process and how this looks like in their interaction with their clients. Um, they reported uh, becoming or getting some specific skills that they could use in therapy. Uh, and they reported many other gains that, of course, you can read about in our paper. Um, we think that it is important that a paper like this is important for many reasons, but I want to highlight two reasons right now. The first one is that this is, um, this is preliminary evidence that it is possible to have a structured program on the use of self in therapy that actually has a positive impact in the clinical work of trainees. And the other reason why we think that this is a very important paper is that this is an example of the type of work that we consider that we need to do as a profession in terms of connecting our goals with our methods of training with the outcomes that we expect to get. Uh, so I hope that with this brief introduction I have um, um, awaken your curiosity and that you will read our paper and if you have more questions about our article or about the person of the therapist training please contact me my name again is Alba Niño and my email address is aniNO at alliance.edu thank you very much